So I'm already breaking a rule right up top here because I have a question for all three of you. So jump in whenever you feel ready. But I know you shoot the episodes of the show very, very quickly. And sometimes you don't have the ideal amount of prep time for a scene. So can each of you pinpoint a scene where you knew you had to prioritize carving out some time to prep for yourself? And, you know, we could see it making all the difference in the final product. Uh, I'll actually start with this one. I, I feel as though um, the scene that we had, it was a, it was a water shot for the whole battle in the Cobra Kai Dojo season 10, uh, season 10, episode 10. Season <laughs> We're not there yet, dude. Who's saying it is going to make it a thing. Say it again. <laughs> hey, season 10, you never know what could happen. But I feel like that battle, we didn't have too much time to prepare just because of all the other scenes and stunts that we had to work out in that uh, huge elaborate fight. But I, I feel like that's just the beauty of the show. I mean, we were fast paced moving show and uh, it showed definitely in the in the finale. I All think right, for um, me, um, my fight with Mary, um, Samantha, we, we actually got like three days to practice it, which is a lot of time for this fast moving set madness. So uh, we got to really drill that fight in and that was a lot of fun. For me, it's either gotta be uh, the, like the outside, like that big one or like that, that final fight at the end, cause that was my first big, fight and I think that um since everyone else was so good at it and this is kind of my first one I felt like I needed to step up my game a bit and prepare for it um which was a lot of fun and then I think the um bar scene with Mary and I or like that that Oklahoma, whole Oklahoma bit that was really um fun but I remember like really wanting to make that a good scene all right, Griffin, I'll follow up on that then. Given the fact that you are building your karate skills in the show right now, is there anything you saw another cast member do where their character is kind of at that next level already and you put that thing in your back pocket and you're eager to try it on a future season? I definitely, okay, there's a few things. There's one, there's that bit where Dallas, remember when like you take Sholo's jacket? I don't know, but there's a bit yes. where Sholo's just fighting with a, with a shirt or a jacket. Yeah. I think that's the coolest thing ever. Yes. Um, there's that, I think, and Jacob, I don't remember, but Dallas, your fight with Jacob, when he, when someone just told him to do that big flying kick thing and he just did it, like, I want to get to that point where, like, that would take me, like, almost a year to learn and he's just like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I believe in you. I think you'll be able to do it. <laughs> All right, Una, I'm coming your way with a question now because some of my favorite scenes in this season are the ones that you share with Peyton. So I want to know, what was it like working with her as a scene partner? What is something that she did for you on set that helped you access something in your own character that you might not have been able to reach without her? Yes, um, it was so much fun working with Peyton. The whole time we were just in between takes, scooping around, practicing. Um, we did a lot of dancing and singing random songs. Um, but yeah, we were just goofing around a lot. And I think it, I think it made for like a, like a just easygoing set environment. And um, it really helped us like get where we need to be like chemistry wise. And uh, so yeah, we've, we've become good friends. I love to hear it. All right, so Dallas, for you, I, I definitely have very high hopes for Robbie mentoring Kenny more in the future, given what they went through in season five. But if not Robbie, who do you think Kenny would benefit from spending the most time with in season six? I'm going to go with Ralph Macchio. You know what? I'm going to go with Daniel Garusso. Mm -hmm. Just because, just to get a new, you know, look on uh, pretty much the karate side of being, you have the intense side with Cobra Kai and then you have the very more chill and you, you need to relax and focus on balance. So I think just to have a different side of karate would be great. And, uh, you know, I, it would also help Kenny not be so aggressive at times as well. I feel like that makes all the sense in the world. And it's almost like the reverse Robbie. They'll take different paths, but they'll still get to the same sense of balance. Sure. Yep. All right, Griffin. So I am, I'm going to dump another going forward type question on you now. So Anthony has definitely made some very, very big strides in the new season. He's going to hopefully uh, hone his karate skills, but also just in terms of figuring out how much to apologize, but also understanding when enough is enough. So given how much he's grown in this season, going into season six, what do you think Anthony himself thinks is his new greatest strength now? I think that um, what we really got to see a lot from the egg scene in episode seven was that Anthony is, or, or actually, you know, even with the, 
ending scenes that Anthony's pretty good when it comes to like planning and strategizing. Less, he's not like a, you know, like I think Kenny's a lot of like a big physical threat, whereas I think Anthony is a little more like a strategic. So I think, um, I think that would be really interesting to see Anthony hone in those skills a lot more, where it's more that he's, um, he's always got the plan. You know what I mean? Like he's, and I think that's why he could really fit well with Hawk and Dimitri, and that like they can like come up with some nerdy little plan, and then we, everybody can execute it. <laughs> I feel like if I gave you Dallas's question, the answer I would want you to say is Anthony spending more time with Dimitri. I just feel like oh, the for sure. them have a similar yeah. vibe and I'm kind of loving it. Yeah, they would They would be such good friends. All right, I gotta let you go. I could keep you here all day, but I'm not allowed. Huge congratulations on the new season and thanks yet again for being a big old bright spot in my TV watching right now. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so right, much. Thank you so much.